Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. It is cube root of 125x square equal to cube root of 27x cube plus 2 plus 6th root of 64x power 4. And we'll be solving for real values of x. So let's get started by writing one powerful identity from thirds or radicals. It is nth root of a times b. This value will be equal to nth root of a times nth root of b. Let's use this identity to our problem. So left hand side I will be writing cube root of 125 times cube root of x square equal to cube root of 27x cube plus 2. plus 6th root of 64 times 6th root of x power 4. Now we know that 125 and 64 we can write it is 5 cube. Cube root cube root of x square equal to cube root of 27 x cube plus 2 plus 6th root of 64 can be written as 2 power 6 times 6th root of x power 4. Can we write cube root of x square? Now 6th root and power 6, cube root and power 3 will be over. So it is left with 5 times cube root of x square equal to cube root of 27x cube plus 2 plus 2 times cube root of x square. Now I will take like terms on one side. So I can write 5 times cube root of x square minus 2 times cube root of x square. This will be equal to cube root of 27x cube plus 2. So left hand side will give us 3 times cube root of x square. I will write 3 times cube root of x square equal to cube root of 27x cube plus 2. Now I will consider cubing both sides. Cubing both sides. So I can write 27 times x square only. Here it will be 27 times x cube plus 2. Take all the term to one side. 27x cube minus 27x square plus 2 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. I will solve this equation using rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So let me find out all the eligible factors of constant term 2. So I can write plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Similarly, I will calculate the eligible factors of this leading coefficient. So I can write plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 9, and plus minus 27. Now I will consider the ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So in this series, if I will plug in x is equal to 1 over 3. Let's check whether it is true for our equation or not. So I will be checking 27 times 1 over 3 whole cube minus 27 times 1 over 3 whole square plus 2. So 3 cube is 27. It will give us 1 minus this is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So minus 3 plus 2. So it is 3 minus 3 which is giving our RHS 0. That means x is equal to 1 by 3 is our 
base solution. Now let us use synthetic division method with base solution 1 by 3 and coefficients of cubic equation 27 minus 27, 0 and 2. 27 minus 27, 0 and 2. SDM base solution x is equal to 1 by 3. Leading coefficient I will write as it is 27. Now we will multiply our base solution with the coefficients. So 1 by 3 times 27, 9 minus 18. 1 by 3 times minus 18, minus 6, minus 6. 1 by 3 times minus 6, minus 2, 0. So here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. So let me write 27. I will write x square minus 18x minus 6 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 3. So let's divide. So I will write 9x square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula method to solve this quadratic equation. Let us solve. I will write 9x square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply formula. x is equal to minus b, so 6 plus minus under the root b square, so I will write minus 6 square minus 4ac. So this will become minus 2 and denominator I will be writing 2 times 9. So 6 plus minus square root 36 plus 72 divided by 18. 6 plus minus this is 108 divided by 18. So 108, 36 times 3. So I can write 6 plus minus 6 times square root 3 over 18. So I can write x will be equal to 1 plus minus root 3 divided by 3. So we have overall 3 solutions and all solutions are real. Let me write here x is equal to first solution was our base solution 1 by 3. Second solution is 1 plus root 3 over 3. And third solution is 1 minus root 3 over 3. If you will check approximate value, so I will write approximation sign. It is 0 0.33. 1 plus root 3, so it will be 1 plus 1.732 over 3. So this value will be approximately 0 0.91. And third value will be negative 0 0.245. I will write approximate values. So our ultimate solutions are here. Let us cross check the first value. Verify. So I will be writing here. Check. And x equal to 1 by 3. I will write LHS as. Let me begin with LHS itself. So I will write cube root 125. So 5 cube root of x square so 1 over 9 and right hand side if I will write also so then I will be writing here cube root of 27 times 1 over 27 plus 2 plus 6th root of or better is to write 2 times 6th root of x power 4 which is cube root of let me write cube root of x square. Now 5 times cube root of 1 over 9. So it will come from RHS itself. This will be cancelled out and I can write here cube root of 3. Plus 2 times cube root of 1 over 9. Now I will multiply here in the numerator and denominator by cube root of 
9. So cube root of 9 plus 2 times cube root of 1 by 9 as it is. Now numerator if you will see it is cube root of 27. So I can write directly this is 3 over cube root of 9 plus 2 times 1 over so I can write cube root of 9 left hand side 5 over cube root of 9. So ultimate conclusion is both sides are equal to each other value will be 5 over cube root of 9. Hence verified. Conclusion is x is equal to 1 by 3, x is equal to 1 plus root 3 by 3 and x is equal to 1 minus root 3 over 3 is our final and real solution. And this brings the end of this video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.